Welcome. Today's tutorial is about how to present your screen in Google Meet. While presenting to students, you will want to share certain information with them or at least to display certain information. While presenting, you may choose to keep your camera on or off. I'm keeping mine off for this presentation because I'm only focusing on what I am presenting. Now, it is up to you to be creative in terms of presenting. The method you choose will also depend on what you want to achieve and the effects that you want to have within your class. It is very important to note that the higher the level of creativity, you may get a higher response and also interaction and also learning outcome. So the creativity is normally proportional to your learning outcome. Now, I'm going to jump right into the methods that I'm going to use to present my screen. And so if you look at your right lower, at the lower right corner of your screen, you will see present now. If you should click on present now, for me, I will have three options. I have your entire screen, a window, or you may have a Chrome tab. So I'm going to explain the usefulness of all three. And so if you want to present your entire screen, there's a drawback to that one. The drawback with presenting your entire screen, you may not see what the students are doing if they, if they are on camera unless you use other features such as the dual less, which I will be explaining in a, in a different tutorial. So your entire screen, I will jump into that. So I'm gonna present my entire screen right now and give you an example. So once I press onto entire screen, you want to click in this area. Once you click in that area, the share button will become highlighted and you click on share. So now my entire screen is now being displayed and you notice if you want to stop sharing you could, you could press on this button at the bottom so let's say i want to show a powerpoint presentation for example on starch test and so i am showing my starch test powerpoint so what i'm seeing displaying right now is the same thing the students are seeing and i am not able to see them so the interaction might be limited in terms of, okay, if you know if they're raising their hands, if they're typing questions within the chat, you will not see those unless you're using a split screen such as dual less. Again, I will explain dual less in another tutorial. So let's come back out of that. And now I stop presenting. I want to stop present this screen. So if you want to stop present, Again, you just click on that option and say stop presenting. And now you're not presenting anymore. Now the other option that you want to use or you can use is to present a window. Now to present a window, let's say, for example, I open all of these tabs in Chrome. If I want to present only one window, the best thing to do is to right click on that window. I want to present on lightning. So I want, I'm going to right click on that tab and press the one that say move to new window. So it'll be separated from the rest. So once I press on new window, it's by itself. I could minimize that. Once the tab is being minimized or separated from the groups, of tabs then what you want to do is to go down to where the tab is make sure it's available and open and then you want to go back and click on your meet once you're in your meet you can go to present now click on that then press a window and you will notice the lightning will be showing as an option separated from the general group so once you press on that you can start to share that tab and notice the stop sharing will come and you will see presenting and the students will only see that window that specific window they're only seeing what is presenting 
on the lightning window so you can now talk about how lightnings are formed the effects of lightning the types of lightning and so on and this is a national geography website that i am using now just for educational purposes and so i could show exactly what is happening the types of lightning and i mean we could discuss this article and as soon as you're finished you can okay you could stop presenting this and you could stop presenting that window now the advantage of presenting only a window is that students will not be distracted with other stuff neither will you be able to move from one tab to a, to another tab you know, you could be doing something in the background or typing something on a separate document while they're viewing that tab only and so that's a very good way in being specific in terms of limiting your students what they need to see now my favorite or i said new favorite i should say is presenting a chrome tab and presenting a chrome tab is very useful in terms of presenting videos or animation and it actually said it at the bottom and so whatever is being played on your system students will be hearing it through their system so it's awesome so the, so the music will be crisp as you have it in the original video so they'll be hearing it smoothly and very nicely so let's say for example i press on a chrome tab and i have all my tabs that are open i could choose which one i'm going to choose science with mr knight and it's a youtube um link and so if i press on science with mr knight i will be able to see my youtube page and then i could press my intro so the students will be able to hear the music being played and follow through with whatever music you played, whatever website you have, so which, is, which is a good thing. And it gives you quality feedback, quality music, you know, without any form of distortion. And so it's a good way to display music. So let me just pause it and get back into the music of presenting. And so that's just some easy ways in which you can present different things for different purposes and also based on what you want to achieve so again i'll be doing other tutorials so whatever question you have or if you need clarification clarification you could simply comment in the comment section and i'll get back to you as soon as possible